So does the game go on until you run out of arrows? Yep. Okay. Pretty much. Well, actually, no. Once you, once you're all the way back at that starting point, the game's over. All right then. Bam! Very nice. Yeah. Ooh. Not bad. I have a much better chance of reaching a thousand points. Damn. Well, you reached a thousand. You should get a reward for that. Fantastic, you're a true master. I will give this to you. Keep improving yourself. Yay! So another heart piece. So I think that's two out of four heart pieces? It is. Yep. And if you play the game again and get a better high score, you'll get a bigger quiver. Alright. So let's see. <laughs> you gotta ride Epona, then talk to her. Okay. No, I was gonna see uh, what the... If you get 1500, you get an upgrade on your quiver. Huh, interesting. Yep. Care to try it? Blink! God damn it. Blink, get back on your horse. Once again, Golden is literally fighting the game. Yep. Sure. So you basically have to get close to a perfect score. This used to be frustrating when I first played this. Ah! Oh, you almost had it. Yeah. You still have a chance to get a perfect score. Build a box versus the game. Who will win? I think I know the answer to that. It's probably going to be the game. I got yeah, that. I Sad to say, you're not gonna get it. Yeah. You might as well just throw your arrows away. Damn. Oh. Sure. <laughs> yeah, you got going. plenty of you got plenty of rubies to spare. Yeah. Rubies are just fucking chump change in this game. <laughs> and. Damn it! Fuck. Here's a bit of advice. After you leave the pots, focus on the target ahead, not the ones on the side. Until you circle around, then you focus on the big targets. Damn. 700 points. Mm, not that good. Don't bother with the pots, because I was just doing it for bullseye. Uh, you know what? Sure, let's do that. Well, when I, whenever I play this, I always go for the pots first on the first round. Well, I'm gonna like, try. I'm gonna try Kuba's advice on this one. All right, just go for the big target then. Okay, not too shabby. Damn. You basically need to get bullseyes to to get the fifteen hundred points. Ooh. So I have to say you don't have this in the bag. Yeah. Time to throw them away. <laughs> 930. <laughs> the 3DS version of Ocarina of Time made it look easy. They probably nerfed it down. Yeah, I would think they should. Which doesn't surprise me if they actually did. A lot of remakes. Ooh. Damn! Nice, nice bullseyes there. And another bullseye! Damn. The thing that makes it difficult is that there's like, there's no crosshair. Yeah, you're basically aiming blind. One would argue it makes you feel more like the hero of time. <laughs> Damn! 
Damn. It's not easy to get 1500. No, it isn't. So you, how many more tries are you going to give this? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Until you run out of money. <laughs> All right. Damn it. Yeah, just go. Yeah, if you ask me, pots are the easiest way to get 100 points right off the bat. Damn. Did they say anything about the crates or no? Oh, the crates don't do anything. They're just there to keep the pots up. Ooh, nice. See if I can. Doesn't really matter because you you don't have enough arrows yeah. to get to fifteen hundred. Damn. So you just you want to come back later and just head to the desert? I will say this: this is pretty addicting. <laughs> yeah, let's just. Let's go for the pots first, and keep a rhythm going. Damn. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'll be able to make it through. Yeah, you might as well just throw your arrows away. Like, just... Just spam the arrow button. Is now an addict for this mini game. <laughs> oh no! No. <laughs> I mean, if it's gonna, if, it, if, it can, if it's gonna upgrade my inventory, it should be worth it. Perfect. That was so beautiful. I didn't get points for that. You only got 30 for that. Yeah. But you still have the potential to get to 1500. Damn it. Well, Close. you got a much better score. I but know. <laughs> you, were, you were still 260 points short. Damn it. Dude, come on. Wow. Please. What fucking oh, waste. Wow. <sighs> you know, maybe I should, like, not even bother with that target. It's too narrow. Here's where you'll really want to spam the arrow button. The big uh, target? Yeah, when you're, when you're coming around again. 11.30. Yes, reality. Well, we all know the song "Addict." I don't watch <laughs> Has Been Hotel. Fair enough. All right. Let's all get right. Those pots so... again. Oh, I was too low. Damn it! No, oh, no. Eh, just a little extra. Yeah, if you ask. God. Yeah, if you ask me, that target's only worth one arrow. All right, here's where you can aim for that big target. Well, pretty much game over. Damn it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I swear, I feel like this is... This whole archery range, it's going to be its own part. <laughs> Ooh. Damn! Oh, almost missed up. one, but that's, a, that's okay. That's okay, you're doing pretty good. 660. Oh, I have to turn all the way around. All right, here's where you can let an arrow fly for the target. Damn. Or two. Damn, 1180. 1180. Still not enough. I know.
perfect. That's so beautiful. One, one arrow for this. Sure thing. All right. Now comes the bigger targets. Yeah, just go ahead and spam for that big target. Damn it. They don't give you enough arrows. No, you there's... Really I, I think that's the whole challenge. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> one arrow per ruby. Oh, whoa. All right. Well, that's up to him, Kuba. Oh, damn it. Ah, oh, I almost made up for it. Yeah, we do have to move on with the plot. Damn. It would have been cool to upgrade my inventory. Basically, you just get more arrows, right? Yep. Just a bigger quiver. 1070. All right. Yeah, I suppose that's enough archery. Yeah, all right. Well, that's right, opponent can't come with on the, um... You're welcome to ride her up to the edge. You know, that is true. It's one of those collision things. Damn it! Yeah, this horse can be way too sensitive at times. Horses are sensitive in our lives, so it kind of you works can't, that way. You can't go on the steps. Oh. You have to go on the slope. Pretty dumb, but oh well. Hey, honey, how's your phone doing? Pona, this is where we part ways. Goodbye, Pona. Now we go through the blinding sandstorm in the haunted wasteland. Alright, so you're gonna need your hook shot right off the bat. And yes, this whole map is like the Lost Woods. If you go the wrong direction, you start from square one. I think you have to get a little closer. Can't go on the moving sand. That'll that's quicksand, isn't it? Yep. You don't want to touch that. Yeah, you're too far away. Is there no other way? Is there no other way? <laughs> what the fuck was the point of that box crate then? So you could attach yourself back if you wanted to backtrack. Okay, that is true. Damn. Lens of Truth won't help you out here. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, is he sinking? Only slightly. He won't fully. He won't fully go under. Oh, did you get a a dot on the box there? There we go. Oh my god. <sighs> Damn. Now to follow the path of the flags. It can be a little hard to tell where the next flag is because of how hazy it is. I see a bridge. Oh yeah, that's where an old man merchant is on a f magic carpet. But you have to use the hover boots to get across. And honestly, what he sells isn't worth it. Alright. I am going to head off for the night. I do have to get early for work tomorrow. Alright. Bye-bye, right. Shuka. Good night. Enjoy the stream and good luck. Alright. Bye. Oh, I see the next flag. Yep. And I think I see one over there.
Yeah, the merchant only sells bomb chews for 200 rubies a piece. Jesus! Kiss my ass. What's this? Are you gonna want to go down there? <laughs> Ooh, hello. Now, if you can find a way to light those torches, there will be a nice surprise for you. I think I have an So idea. you can either use your fire arrows or dense fire. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. It's too low. Um, you might just want to use your dense fire instead. Just stand in between the torches and light them up. Yep. Besides, you've only got three arrows left. Yeah, I don't need to waste them. <clears throat> what is this, rupees? Yep. 50 rupees. Have we entered the Shadow Temple again? No. Well, with how dark it was getting, I couldn't... I wanted to make a joke. Alright, now you gotta climb up to that podium. What podium? The stone podium. Oh. I'll be your guide on your way, but coming back, I won't play. I'll show you the only way to go, so follow me and don't be slow. It's actually nice to have a Poe that doesn't attack you. Yeah. Uh-oh, watch out for the ground levers. Oh. Fucking hell, get out of here. You should be able to get to the Colossus from here on out. I wouldn't follow- Uh oh. Yeah. Oh great, you gotta start again. Ah, wonderful. Yeah, once the Poe takes you to a couple of- Oh, shit! Oh, no! Cue the Bowser laugh. Yeah, really. Yeah, getting caught in that quicksand is just like the desert level in Super Mario 64 when you get caught in the quicksand. Yeah. Come on. Just a little bit. Come on. Just a tad now? There. Yeah, when you're following that Poe, don't use the Z-targeting, because I think it'll screw you over.
So, have you been having a fun stream so far, Golden? Yeah. You're on your own from here on out. And I take it yet to, um... Fuck off! Just head through those two flags and you'll make it to the end. <laughs> the Desert Colossus. Okay. And the spirit temple's just up ahead. You guys are a pain in the ass. Go away! Those are levers for you. They ain't ever gonna leave you alone. You just find a safe spot. Just head into the spirit temple and you can save. Yeah. Fuck off. By the way, is it me or does that look like the golden snitch with the Triforce embedded in it? I wouldn't know. And now we've reached our favorite dungeon of the game. Yep. 